Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to fix a food for you that I'm sure most of you have fixed. But those of you that haven't, um, I'm going to fix boiled cabbage. And cabbage is one um, of the vegetables that you can eat right much of. Um, it's one of those carbs that is goes to your whatever it goes slow so you can eat um right much of it and i told in one of the other videos i told you that my um diabetic counselor said that she had told a woman that she could eat as much as she wanted two of cabbage and found out that the woman had eaten three heads of cabbage in one day well um not quite like that <laughs> i don't think that i will eat this is two very small well this one's about a medium this one's small head of cabbage and the first thing i'm going to do is i've got three strips of bacon in here well no i can't do put that in yet um uh, i'm gonna lay this over here on top of my bowl. I've got to cut this cabbage up and I just want to show you how you can do it. You can just cut it up in in wedges. I mean you don't have to. It's going to come apart and it's going to fall apart and all when you cook it. But what I do is I just cut it like this into wedges. Put it in my pan my pan i'm using my um new wave precision induction cooktop but it would be the same um for your stove i'll start it out on boil until i get it boiling and then i'll cut it back down to a medium heat so it'll just simmer and um there's the little head of cabbage and i just like i said i just cut them up into wedges i've already cut in the bottoms cut the bottoms off of them and then I just take my knife and go all the way through it. And then I'll turn it over. And I'll just go through and cut wedges. And I don't, I mean, it's just every how you want to do it. But, I mean, you can, there are, it's going to fall apart anyway. And um, what I do is after I cut them into the wedges, then I wash them, go and take them over to the sink. And I'll get off all the, the what I'd say, bad um, leaves or whatever off of the cabbage um, before. And I'll take it over to the sink. And then I wash it real good. And see, like, these, these leaves that are falling off and they're kind of <laughs> rubbery or whatever, I, I'll take them off and throw them in the trash and so let me finish cutting this up and then I'm going to take it over to this to my sink what did I say my stove I don't know I'm going to take it over to my stove I mean my sink <laughs> and wash this out uh wash this off real good and then once I get to that point I will bring you right back Okay, I'm back. I wanted to see that you can see that I have just in the pot of cabbage, the cabbage is up here. The water is like right here on it. So it's not covering it, but almost covering it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my um, cooktop on, which will be the same as your stove on um i put mine on maximum which would be your um highest and i'm going to put three pieces of bacon in here normally i would put um kielbasa or something like that i, I have a recipe on here for potatoes cabbage and um smoked sausage or kielbasa and but i'm using um bacon this time and this is that pre-cooked stuff so it doesn't have very much taste i'm just using it to to get rid of it and i'm also going to put in a spoonful of 
I don't know how much, probably three tablespoons of shed spread or country crock shed spread or shed spread country crock. And I use that, and I'm going to let this come up to a boil. I'm going to put some kosher salt in here. All right. Just a couple of pinches because it'll cook down. And you know how when you cook spinach or or um, collard greens, they cook down. Well, this cabbage will cook down too. And you know how I love pepper, so I'm putting right much pepper in there. This is the coarse ground black pepper. Like I said, if I if I could eat potatoes, I would put the I'd get um, either smoked sausage or polska kielbasa and put potatoes and the meat <clears throat> and the cabbage in there and boil it until it was done. But since I really can't have potatoes anymore, I'm just cooking the cabbage with three slices of the bacon and probably three tablespoons of um, shed spread and I'm going to let this come to a boil and once it comes to a boil I will turn it back down to medium which would be medium on your stove and um, cook this to the consistency that you like I like mine I don't like it so it's well I like it soft but I also like it I guess what you would say for pasta al dente. Almost done, <laughs> but not quite done. And by the time it sits, and all, then it all gets ready. I mean, then it's all done. And I, I love cabbage. My grandma used to fry cabbage, but I don't fry cabbage very much. She did, and she always put a little bit of sugar in her cabbage. I don't do that either. Um... I like just the taste of cabbage, but with just with just this, with just plain cabbage, no potatoes or kielbasa or whatever in it. I, like I said, I am going to put the bacon in here and some margarine. So once this starts boiling, I'll bring you back and I'll cut it down then to medium and we'll figure out, I'll let you know how long it takes to get it to the consistency that I like it at. We'll time it and see how long it takes. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. The water has come up to a boil. And um, it's 6 o'clock at night. So I'm going to cut this down to medium. And you can see the water's already, it's already shrunk a lot. So I'm going to put the top on this. It's cut down to medium. I'm probably going to have to cut it down to medium low because this does um, run a little higher on this um, induction cooktop. So I'm going to take it down to 230 on the induction cooktop, which would be between medium and medium low on your stove. And I'm going to let this cook. And when it gets to the consistency that I like, I'll bring you back and let you know exactly how long it, it took for, the, for it to cook on this. And um, like I said, it's 6 o'clock now, so I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, I wanted to bring you back. I'm having problems with my tripod um, staying up here so you can see it. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes now, and the bacon has already done its job. <laughs> so I'm going to take it out and try to hold the camera up at the same time, and it's not going to be easy. All right.
right I hope you can see down in there and it's already um, getting you know a little bit like I I like it but it'll probably be another 15 minutes or so but I just wanted to tell you that you also can get the can of um, I guess it's Libby's corned beef it's just a small can of corned beef and it's like corned beef hash but doesn't have the potatoes in it you also could get that and cut that up and put that in here or you could put um, a pork chop in here a couple pork chops in here and boil it with the um, cabbage a lot of people don't like the smell of boiling cabbage I do I love it um, of course I've got tonight I've got three Christmas candles going in here so it's kind of like a, a mixture of cabbage and um, Christmas <laughs> in here but I, I do love the smell of it and like I said you could have I got some pork chops today they had a really good sale on them at Kroger's and I got um, some and I could have put a couple pork chops in here and uh, but I just decided I wanted the cabbage because I've still got the ham from Thanksgiving that I've got to eat so and I could have put some of that in here too I didn't even think about that I just put the bacon in there because I've got to use that but I'm going to let this cook for probably 15 more minutes or so and I will bring you back when it gets to that point okay I wanted to bring you back and show you the end result of this um this I love boiled cabbage and I love it with a lot of pepper so it <clears throat> does taste kind of it has a spicy taste to it but putting the bacon in there and the margarine in there gives it a really good taste and this is cooked um for about 40 minutes now and what I'm going to do is I just wanted to show you this and show you that it's done the way that I like it. Um, I know you've gone into restaurants and they've brought you cabbage, boiled cabbage, or it's been on the buffet or something and it has no taste to it and you have to like fill it up with salt and stuff like that. Well, when you cook it with the salt and you cook it with um, a meat or like the bacon and the margarine it gives it a really good taste and it's not so plain and it's really good for you cabbage is a really good dish for you so tr give this recipe a try put a couple slices of bacon in it put a couple slices of ham any kind of meat that you have like I said you could put uh, pork chops in this uh, or whatever and I'm going to turn this off now and I'm just going to put the lid back on it. And I'm going to let this sit and steam a little bit more until it cools down. Because this is for um, dinner later on tonight. I'm waiting now um, to do a two-hour um, <laughs> a two-hour blood sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video right here. You can see the that I let it cook for 45 minutes on um, bring it up to a boil and then take it down once it starts boiling. Take it down to a simmer and let it simmer for a good 45 minutes. And then you can eat it. You can put my grandparents ate it with cornbread. They also would put uh, vinegar in it and put it in a bowl, put some vinegar in it. All those, all those ways are, are really good. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share this on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest. And you have a good night. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Here's my grandson. He, this is his third bowl of cabbage. He loves it. And he's taking it out. And he's, when he gets a big bite, he takes it out. Here, of his mouth. Hi, say this hi. is Caden, my grandson. He is eating. E this is his third bowl of cabbage. You want some cabbage? Here, baby. There's Can your last bite? bite. Here, take a bite. 
There's your bite. Here. Okay, I see. You Take a bite. You want to do it? You do it. No. 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 Say hi. Okay, fine. Okay, no more. All gone. Say all gone. You want some? You want to do it? I got you right here. I'm getting you. You better get your cabbage. He's going to climb up on you. <laughs> you better get your cabbage. You can't climb up on Gamma. You can't get it. Here, Eat your bite. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> and you don't want it. Uh, right, you didn't eat three bowls.